What if I told you there is a framework so good that 73% of developers who try it never want to use anything else? And what if I told you this same framework powers less than 3% of the web? Today we uncover the tragedy of Svelte, the framework too good for its own good. Here is a telling statistic. Svelte scores 72.8% in developer satisfaction while React sits at 62.2%. That's a meaningful gap, over 10% higher. But here's the twisted reality. React powers 40% of the web. Svelte, Web Tech Survey discovered 50,397 live websites using Svelte. That's barely a rounding error. This isn't a story about code. This is a story about power, fear, and why the latest technology doesn't always win. The answer will expose everything wrong with how Silicon Valley works. London 2016, The Guardian newsroom at 2 a.m. Rich Harris, an award-winning journalist turned developer, watches his climate change story fail to load. Users are abandoning the page. Important journalism dies because React ships 200 KB of JavaScript just to make a button clickable. Rich stares at Chrome DevTools, the actual framework based more than the news article itself. For a climate story about efficiency, the irony is crushing that night. He asks a question that will haunt Silicon Valley. What if we don't ship the framework at all? Most frameworks work like Amazon, delivering an entire factory just to deliver a book. Rich imagines something radical, a framework that disappears, that does all its work before reaching your browser. The idea is so simple that it sounds impossible, but Rich isn't trapped by the Silicon Valley group think. He's a journalist who stumbled into code. He doesn't know what's impossible. Three months later, in his small London flat, he starts building the framework that will expose the entire industry's bloat addiction. Brooklyn, November 2016. Rich attends Brooklyn JS. Developers in a cramped bar, sharing war stories over craft beer. Someone mentions compilers. Most developers find compilers boring. Rich sees magic. Thanksgiving weekend, while America argues over Turkey, Rich locks himself away for 72 hours. No sleep, barely any food, just an obsession with proving everyone wrong. What emerges will shock the web development world. A simple to-do app. React's version, 45 kilobytes. Rich's version, just 3.6 KBs. 12 times smaller. Not incrementally better, catastrophically faster. He calls it Svelte and publishes a quiet blog post. Frameworks without the framework. The response? Silence. The future of web development has just been invented and the industry yawns. This should have been their first warning. But silence doesn't mean invisibility. The first developers to find Svelte just don't adopt it. They become evangelical. Picture this. You have spent years wrestling with React's use state, use memo and use effect. Then you stumble across Svelte. You create a variable, change it, the screen updates. That's it. The New York Times graphics team quietly adopts it. Interactive election maps that crash phones in React fly in Svelte. The BBC experiments with it. 70% smaller bundles. Germany builds their COVID dashboard with Svelte. While government sites buckle under traffic, theirs stays rock solid. But here's what's disturbing. These are all secret projects. Hidden experiments, not the main applications that define these companies. Why? Because in corporate boardrooms, fear trumps facts. What if we can't hire spelled developers? What if this framework disappears? Nobody gets fired for choosing React. Svelte is the fourth most popular front-end framework. But the conspiracy isn't malicious. It's worse. Institutional cowardice. This story repeats itself throughout tech history. Betamax was superior to VHS. Superior quality, more durable. But VHS had the movie studios. Tesla's AC power was safer than Edison's DC. But Edison had marketing. He literally electrocuted elephants to spread fear about AC. The pattern is always the same. Revolutionary technology emerges. It's demonstrably superior, but it lacks institutional backing. React has Facebook's army, 10,000 engineers, billions in development, an entire ecosystem. Angular has Google's enterprise machine. Vue has passionate open source communities. Swell it had Rich Harris, one developer against three tech empires. 
for five years. Svelte had no dedicated contributor. Rich maintained it while working full-time jobs. Nights debugging. Weekends adding new features. Vacation time writing docs. Framework that could revolutionize web development. Survived on borrowed time. Let me show you numbers that expose the conspiracy. Stack Overflow 2024. Swellet Satisfaction 72.8%, React 62.2%, but job postings tell a different story. React 45,000 positions, Angular 23,000 positions, Swellet just 800 positions. The framework developers love the most has the fewest opportunities. 73% of Swellet developers want to keep using it. Higher retention than Netflix. GitHub stars reveal the marketing gap. React. 220,000 backed by Facebook's billions. View 205,000 backed by community passion. Svelte 75,000 pure grassroots love. NPM downloads show the crushing reality. React 45 million weekly downloads. Svelte just 3.2. The most loved framework is barely used. This isn't marketing failure. This is systematic suppression through institutional inertia. 2021. Everything changes. Bursal hires Rich Harris to work full-time for Svelte. Finally, corporate backing. Svelte gets its first dedicated contributor. The results are immediate. Svelte Kit launches a full-stack framework competing directly with Next.js. The New York Times doesn't just use Svelte for experiments anymore. They rebuilt major sections with it. Netflix uses it for internal tools that previously took weeks to build using React. Even Stack Overflow used well to build their 2024 developer survey results site. But here's the catch. Rich Harris and his team joined Bursell, not Facebook. Bursell doesn't have 3 billion users. They can't single-handedly shift the industry. The five years of neglect created a massive gap. While Svelte starved, React built an empire. The twist. The world may just be catching up. The launch of Svelte 5 marked a daring metamorphosis. Rich Harris called it a new chapter. More magical, more intuitive, not demanding a degree to be productive. Weekly NPM downloads doubled post-launch. The roadmap carries more. New compiler optimizations, better server-side rendering, improved TypeScript integrations, and async innovations like asynchronous Svelte and remote functions. And every month through 2025, Major upgrades land, from Deno support to telemetry, better wide rollout, tooling, and the built-in CLI, SV. Svelte is no longer just surviving, it's evolving. But can it climb its way from beloved underdog to mainstream contender? Here's why 2025 changes everything. React taught developers that complexity is sophistication, that you need use state, use memo, use effect, use callback just to build a counter. That thinking in React meant forgetting normal programming. Svelte teaches the opposite. Web development should feel natural. Frameworks should amplify our knowledge, not replace it. The question isn't whether Svelte will win. It's whether the developers will admit that they've been making things harder than necessary for last eight years. Because once you see it, you can't unsee it. Once you build in Svelte, React feels like switching from a Tesla to a horse and buggy. Dominic Genaway joined Vercel from React core team to work on Svelte. Even React's own engineers are jumping ship. The tragedy of being Svelte is becoming the triumph of being inevitable. The real tragedy isn't that Svelte was oppressed. It's that the industry built a prison of complexity and called it progress. React isn't popular because it's good. It's popular because it's safe. Because it won't get you fired. But developers are waking up. They're tired of fighting their tools. Tired of complexity disguised as sophistication. Svelte isn't just a framework. It's a proof that programming should be joyful, not painful. And when rebellion is based on truth instead of hype, it eventually wins. So have you tried Svelte? If yes, then let us know about your experience in the comment section below. If not, be sure to give it a try. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you soon in the next episode. Till then, peace out.